welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing this sparkly, dark, smoky eye. I've had this look in mind for three months, and I'm just getting around to filming it now. <laughs> um, things were definitely busy with the holidays, but I really love the way this look came out. It's perfect for like a date night, night out with the girls, um, birthday makeup, whatever you want. Um, but yeah, it's a really pretty, dark, dramatic I, um, I did want to mention if you are an aspiring makeup artist, you might want to check out my online makeup lessons. I will link my website down below, onlinemakeuplessons.com. Um, right now the lessons are only $10 each, so that's a really good deal considering I share all my tips and tricks and show you how to do makeup on clients. Um, so yeah, check that out if you're interested. I also just wanted to say Happy New Year. Um, I hope 2019 is a great year for you guys. Um, I hope you had an amazing holiday season. I just spent a lot of time with my loved ones and I just love Christmas time. I love the tradition and I just love that time of year. Um, and yeah, I'm excited for the new year. Um, make this year what you want it. It's up to you how you want to make this year happen, how you want to make it end. Like, it's up to you how you want it to go. So just keep that in mind. I do think it's important to set goals and aspirations for yourself and just, you know, get yourself inspired for the new year. I know I have many resolutions for the year. I'll just share a couple of my New Year's resolutions. Um, one of them being I just want my business to grow and become even more successful and just really work really, really hard. Um, I also have personal goals. Like I want to become more healthy because I it's not like I'm not a healthy person. I am, but you know, I do love food and I do have a pretty big appetite. So I don't always make the best choices. So since the first I have been watching what I eat. I've been on like a dairy-free, gluten-free diet. I've also been doing intermittent fasting. I'll let you guys know how that goes. I'm gonna try it for like a month. Um, so far, I actually feel pretty good. I'm not really looking to lose weight. I just wanna be healthier because, I, like I said, I love food. So I just need to make better choices. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing year and you're starting off the new year right. I always feel like the new year is just like a fresh start. It's a new chapter and you could just start over. Like last year sucked, guess what? Now you can start over and make this year your year. So enough rambling. If you wanna learn how to get this look, then definitely keep on watching. All right, you guys, so we're gonna get started. I'm gonna start off by using the P. Louise eyeshadow bases. All right, so I'm going to start off by mixing Rumor 1 and Rumor 2 from the P. Louise um, eyeshadow bases. And I'm just going to take basically like half of each and mix that up on the back of my hand. And I don't, well, I'll probably need more than this. Who am I kidding? But whatever. I'm just going to do one eye on camera and then I'm going to do the other eye off camera since... I just feel like it gets really repetitive when I use both, but anyways, I'm going to use the MAC 252S to apply the eyeshadow base. So I basically just work the eyeshadow base into the brush, and then I um, just apply it. So I'm just going to start by patting it on all over my lid. Make sure you get this inner corner area here. And then of course you do wanna bring it outward a little bit. I'm just gonna turn the brush over because I have more product on the other side. And again, don't forget to get in here. This spot is always neglected. Okay, so once I've patted this out, basically you wanna keep patting it until it's kind of like set and not so wet and tacky. So um, now I have like my blank canvas and actually you know what while I'm here I'm just going to apply the base on the other eye as well. My as well. You know? Okay so now that I have that on I'm going to go ahead and go in with the eyeshadow. So we're going to be using a black eyeshadow first and I'm going to use the Too Faced Glitter Bomb Palette. This is what it looks like, and um, I actually got this at Marshalls, by the way, side note, 
Um, if you haven't checked out Marshalls or TJ Maxx beauty section, you should because sometimes you find gems like this. Um, but this has all glittery shades. We're not going to be using the glitter. I'm going to be using the black because this is a super matte black eyeshadow. One of the darkest matte black eyeshadows I've ever used. So that's why I'm going to be using this palette. And I'm going to be taking like a stiff brush like this. This is actually from Amazon. Um, it came in a set. But any kind of stiff brush that you could pack on color with is going to be great. But I also do recommend to use something that has a little bit of width to it. Because you do want to use this to blend out. You don't want to use just like a super stiff thin eyeshadow brush. You want to use something that's kind of thick, you know? So um, I'm going to be dipping my brush into that black eyeshadow. Before you go ahead, make sure that there's no creasing in the base. That is very important. And once you tap out any creasing, you're going to start by just tapping this color all over the lid. So I'm tapping this all over the lid and bringing it up towards the crease, like so. Like you're going to look crazy during this look because, yeah, you're, you're just going to look crazy. <laughs> but I promise it does come together, I promise. So I'm just really packing this on, but you can really tell the... Black eyeshadow is so pigmented, it's crazy. So since my eyes are smaller and I do have hooded lids, I'm going to bring the black eyeshadow right above my crease. Um, not You don't want to bring it super high, but I do want the majority of the eye to be black. Um, you know, I don't want to just stop right here and then blend from there because then there's really not going to be that much black. So I am bringing it like right above where my eye folds. And I'm just doing little padding motions and um, I'm just going in with another layer just like over the lid area. I need a little coffee break. My back is kind of killing me right now, but we're just going to ignore that. Okay. Mm. So now I'm going to take a brush from the same set. If I can find the set, I'll link it in the description box if I can find it. Um, but it's basically like a dome brush like this. And I'm going to be taking a orange shadow. Let me just decide what I'm taking. So I'm going to go in with my... Juvia's Place Magic Mini palette. Love this palette, by the way. And I'm just going to take this color here. This matte orange shade. Actually, I lied. Nope, lied. I'm going to take this shade here, which is a deeper orange. So I'm going to take that shade, and I'm going to load my brush up with it make sure you tap off the excess because you don't want it to go all over the place so i'm just going to take this brush and i'm just going to work it at the edge of the shadow the black shadow and again you guys it's going to look crazy until the end just just trust the process so important because it's very easy to just give up because you feel like it's not looking good but then it usually ends up looking good so yeah, back and forth. You don't want to blend too much. You don't want to over blend because when you're using black and other colors, it's very easy for the colors to just mix together and make a weird color. So you don't want to over blend, but you definitely want to blend. You know what I'm saying? Before I move on to the next step, I am going to go in with this shade right here from the Nubian 2 palettes. And I'm actually going to apply just a little bit of this, not a lot, just a little bit in between the black and the orange. Just because I feel like there's just like a little bit of a step between the two colors. So this is going to help kind of mesh both of them together, if you know what I mean. Okay, so now going back in with the orange shade, now I'm going to take a more fluffy blending brush 
and I'm going to just apply this blending up towards the brow in little circular motions. By the way, if you're wondering, this is a Sigma E25 blending brush. So now I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with the lighter orange from the mini palette, the one that I was originally going to use, and I'm just going to apply that right above the orange shade just to really blend out even further up towards the brow. Okay, so now I'm pretty happy with the way everything's blending. I'm going to go ahead and I'll do the same exact steps on this side and catch up, and then we'll move on to the next step. So um, the next step is I'm going to be taking this Morphe Liquid Shadow. This is in the shade Flicker, so it's like a black base with like gold and silver sparkles in it. So it's really, really pretty, and we are going to apply this all over our lid. So... I'm going to just take the applicator and I'm just going to apply it literally all over. I've never used this before, so let's pray that this goes well. But um, yeah, I'm just applying it all over the lid. Um, I'm not going all the way up to the crease. I'm still keeping it kind of on the lid space. Ooh, that's pretty. Well, I'm going to take another little blending brush now that I applied that glitter and I'm just going to work it on the edge of the glitter just to make sure that it's kind of fading out and not just like stopping you know we want the glitter to kind of fade before this glitter completely dries I'm going to go in with granite from the moon dust palette and I'm actually just going to use my finger um, I hope this glitter isn't totally dry <laughs> um, I'm going to focus it on the center of my lid I'm not really going to take it all the way in. I'm just kind of patting it on the center of my lid. Again, I'm just taking the color granite and just applying it all over. Well, not all over. I'm just applying it in the center of the eye. Okay. So now I'm going to take the Glitter Bomb palette. I'm going to take this color here, which is Fairy Dust. It's the first shade. It's just like a nice light glittery color and I'm going to just apply a touch of that right in the center of the eye just to make it pop a little bit more so I'm just applying this in the center so once I have that on I'm gonna go ahead and take some gel liner and I'm just going to do a thin line across the eye um, you don't need to go too crazy because since the lid is so dark I mean you're not really gonna see a wing liner if you do a wing liner so I'm just gonna do like a line across the eye just so when I put lashes on um, I just like the way I just feel like eyeliner kind of disguises the lash band so I'm just doing this and I'm using the Inglot number 77 liner if you're wondering. I'm just going to take a little bit of black eyeshadow and I'm just going to apply it on the outer corner here where that eyeliner ends because I don't want it to be like an abrupt ending. Um, I kind of want to fade the liner into the shadow. So I'm just kind of tapping the black liner at the ends and just kind of smoking out the edge a little bit. Alright, so now I'm going to take the same Inglot liner, the number 77, and I'm actually just going to take a, an old pencil liner and just dip it directly in there. It's just easier to apply it this way than like with a brush. So I just kind of work it onto the tip of the eyeliner, and then I'm going to apply this in my waterline. I'm also going to tight line a little bit. Um, I'm going to take the liner and I'm going to run it on the lash line. Now I'm going to take a flat definer brush and take more of the liner. And I'm just going to work it onto the, the brush with the back of my hand. And I'm going to apply it on the lash line. I really want the lash line to be dark. Again, I know I look crazy, but I promise it will come together. Just trust. 
I'm just going to take a smudger brush and I'm going to use this to blend out the edges of the black liner before it dries. Um, and once I have my concealer on, I will finish the lower lash line. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to apply lashes, and I'm also going to apply my face makeup. Um, I'm not going to show the face makeup today because it's actually going to be the same products that I used in my last video, the Soft Glam Get Ready With Me. So if you want to know what I use, just go check out that video. Um, I just didn't want it to be repetitive. So um, I will show you the lashes though. So the lashes that I'm using are by a brand called Lorella. Um... I got these online. They're really inexpensive mink eyelashes. I'll link the website down below. And yeah, this is what the lashes look like. They're just like really long, kind of dramatic lashes. Um, I do not know the style though. The one disadvantage is when I got all the lashes, I ordered like six pairs. Um, they don't have like the style numbers or style names on the boxes so yeah it's kind of annoying but anyways i'm gonna apply this apply my face makeup and we'll come back to do the rest of the eyes and lips and all that good stuff all right so i'm currently baking i did finish up um putting on my lashes and doing foundation and concealer and all that but yeah i'm just gonna bake for a little while and um, while that's sitting there, the powder, I am going to finish up the eye. So for the eyes, I'm just going to take the orange shade from the Magic Mini palettes and I'm just going to start by blending out that lower lash line. And now I'm going to take the lighter orange from the same palette and I'm going to take it on a fluffy brush. And I'm going to use this to blend out the lower lash line even further. It's going to be pretty smoky, but I personally like that. So so you could definitely do like a pop of color in the inner corner, like a teal or a yellow gold would be really pretty. Um, purple, something cool would be really nice. But I'm just going to keep it safe and I'm going to do this color here, which is from the Nubian 2. We're using the Nubian 2 by Juvia's, and I'm taking the color Zuri, which is like a light champagne gold, and this is just really going to make the inner corner pop. So I'm just going to apply that on the inner corner with a, like a little pencil brush. So that is really pretty, you can keep it just like that, but I just still need a little bit more drama, so I'm just going to spray my brush with the setting spray and then go back in with that shadow, just because I really want it to pop. Alright, and I want to do one other thing, so I'm just going to take um, my glitter liner here and I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand, like so. And I'm going to take this brush here, and I just want to apply a little bit more. But I don't want it to be super concentrated, so that's why I'm using a brush to apply it. So I'm just going to lightly tap on my eye just to make it go on a little bit more sporadically and not like super thick never have enough sparkle you know so I just wanted to add a little bit more sparkle okay so I'm just gonna dust off the baking powder I'm just going to bronze up my skin by using the Anastasia um, contour kit I'm just gonna take these two shades here Alright you guys, so now I'm going to apply some blush. I'm going to use, I think, uh, this shade from this e.l.f. blush quad. I love this quad. Um, it works really, really well. I'm just going to take this brush here and just kind of blend out the blush. 
I'm actually going to take a little bit of the blush brush and just kind of dab over my nose. I like doing this just to bring some color to my nose and not just the apples of my cheeks. Oh my god, this ring light is like making my eyes hurt. <laughs> um... Okay, so now we're going to move on to highlighter. So I'm going to use this highlighter. This is by Makeup Forever. This is the, I think, the O2 highlighter. They have a lighter one, and then they have this one. This is the more golden one. I'm just taking a brush. Um, this is just like a random BH Cosmetics brush. And I'm just going to apply that right on my cheeks. I'm not going too crazy with the highlight today, surprisingly. And then I'm gonna take this little brush here. Hi, George. My little, my little Georgie is right over here. Um, and I'm just going to go down the center of my nose, like so. And then I'm gonna do a little dot right here. So now, moving on to lips. I'm gonna use the NYX lip liner in Nude Truffle. This is like a go-to lip liner for me. I'm gonna line my lips. Now I'm gonna go in with this Lorac liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Light Peach. It's basically just like a peachy nude. And I'm just gonna apply that on my lips. I'm just using my finger just to blend it into the lip liner. And now I'm going to take this Buxom, it's like a mini Buxom lip gloss in the shade Amber. So this has like a plumping effect. I love the Buxom glosses. Um, okay, so now I'm just going to set my face with the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. One thing I will say about that setting spray is it kind of like spits at you. It's not the best like spray bottle, but Alright you guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I absolutely love the way this look came out. It's definitely super dramatic, but perfect for like date night, girls night out, or really whatever you want it to be for. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video.